having to power off your phone while flying in an airplane can be frustrating, especially when you're traveling alone and have no one to talk to. In that case, mostly you have two main options, either fall asleep or connect to network to surf the internet, which in most flights isn't available yet, but some flights do offer in-flight Wi-Fi connection. So how can you connect to internet while flying in the air? Well, let's talk about how it works. To get things out of the way, you cannot connect to cellular network while flying in the plane because you're flying 35,000 feet above the ground. So let's say even if somehow in some impossible scenario you could get the signals, then you would be interfering with the airplane's communication or navigation system. So you still wouldn't be able to use it. So this is where in-flight Wi-Fi comes into place. There are two main ways through which in-flight Wi-Fi works. First one is ATG or air to ground transmission. It works in a similar way to cellular data. There are towers on different locations and airplane have an antenna located underneath its body, which links up to towers and communication starts between airplane and cell towers. As the plane is flying, it connects to the nearest tower on the ground. So this means there's obviously a restriction which comes with it. And that is it can only work when the plane is flying above the land, not when it's flying over large volume of water because there are no floating towers yet. Not that I know of. There's another restriction which comes with it, and that is slow speed that it provides. When a lot of users connect to network, it can be painful just to send someone a picture of flight that you're supposedly enjoying. So to solve these problems, second type of in-flight Wi-Fi is used, and that is satellite-based Wi-Fi connection. As you can guess by the name, satellite Wi-Fi uses a network of satellites to bring communication to life. Planes connect to satellites which receives and sends signal to Earth using receiver and transmitter. These are same satellites that are used in television signals. So this is how it works. Information is sent and received from your smartphone using an antenna which is located on top of the airplane, which is connected to satellites. Just like towers, it connects to the nearest satellite. And Wi-Fi signals are distributed to passengers by a traditional method which is by using a router. It can provide you speed up to 50 megabits per second, but considering how many people connect to that 50 MB connection, it can still be slow, but it may be changing soon, as some airlines are already using broadband, which is comparatively faster. Normally, there are two types of bandwidths, narrowband and broadband. Narrowband is not that suitable for streaming videos. So if you are traveling from a flight which does provide you Wi-Fi, you'll notice different in ticket price. If you didn't get it by now, it'll be more expensive. And one of the reasons for this seems to be that they have to put rather large antennas on planes for these technologies to work, which can have a significant effect on planes' weight and aerodynamics. In that case, it will have higher fuel usage. Aside from it being expensive, you may not see this Wi-Fi on plane in action because there are still many airlines that don't provide any kind of Wi-Fi service. Although the number is growing rapidly, and in near future, hopefully it will be available on most of the flights, if not all. So if you are going on a business trip, you may want to consider a flight with Wi-Fi connectivity, or you can simply determine if it's worth the extra cost. So this is it for this video, and see you guys in the next one.